Book 326. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the ultimate sacrifice in the realm of the ancestors, part two. That's right, the ultimate sacrifice in the realm of the ancestors, part two. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in the ultimate sacrifice and the realm of the ancestors, part one, the parents watched in awestruck terror as a horde of beings with truly terrifying forms came rushing through the tree line with sharp teeth, pitch black eyes, and large weapons of many shapes and sizes. Go! Heyru shouted as he ran straight towards the evil spirits and engaged them in bloody combat. With one swipe of his sword, the mighty warrior Heyru chopped two of the evil spirits in half. The parents of the special child watched as Heyru continued to hack relentlessly at the army of spirits, decreasing their number with each blow. There was at least 500 evil spirits encircling Heyru, but the warrior fought valiantly as if the odds were in his own favor. Snapping back to reality after being zoned out by the surreal nature of these events, the father of the special child grabbed his wife by the arm and pulled her back towards their front door. We must get out of here, my wife, he said, rushing into their home. Panicking, his wife attempted to grab a few provisions, but he told her there was no time. Wrapping up their daughter in a red blanket, the family rushed out of the back door and sprinted off into the woods. They had no clue where they were headed, and they did not fully comprehend what was happening, but the father knew that if they did nothing else, they must survive until their daughter reached the age of adulthood. On the battlefield, the noble Heiru held off the enemy until well into the night, and he gave the family enough time to disappear into a nearby village. Being only a man though, fatigue began to set in, and his sword slowly became heavier in his hands. According to all the ancient sources, Heiru killed 399 demons, but before he could kill demon number 400, an arrow shot from the bow of one of them pierced his right thigh, causing him to lose his balance and fall. As the evil spirits pounced on him and clawed at his flesh and gnawed at his limbs, he remembered the warning of the great God. He was told that if he died on earth before the child could teach mankind the art of doing good, he was doomed to be condemned to the underworld for all eternity. Feeling his life force leave his body, Heiru mustered up the last bit of strength he had as he tossed his sword straight up into the air and it seemed to reach the very clouds. My God! Heiru called out as his vision began to fade. Guide my sword to the head of one last enemy so that the chroniclers will record that I slew 400 demons with the might of my arms for humanity's sake. Hearing his prayer and having compassion on the hero Heiru, the great god did indeed guide his sword and when it fell back down to the earth, it plunged deep into the head of the head demon, the very one who rallied all others to find and kill the special child. Then, when the head demon died of his wounds, Heiru too gave up the ghost. In an instant, his spirit was transported to the underworld where the demons ruled and he was quickly bound up by the enemies of the great god. Laughing maniacally, the enemies of the great god and the humans who had lived wickedly on earth began torturing Heiru and demanding he tell them where the special child had fled to. However, no matter what punishments they inflicted on his soul, Heiru uttered not a word and he refused to give them the satisfaction of hearing him cry out in pain. Very well, the demon said, realizing Heiru would not give up the whereabouts of the child. We will simply torture you for all eternity, and to your pain and suffering there will be no end. They then took turns abusing the soul of Heiru, and they called him foolish for giving up paradise to help save an unworthy mankind. To be continued in the ultimate sacrifice in the realm of the ancestors, part three. And so, the morning motivation of today is the ultimate sacrifice in the realm of the ancestors, part two. Sometimes, in order to get where you are going and to achieve that which you wish to achieve, you must be willing to endure some things that you rather not endure. In life, pain comes with living, and disappointment comes with success. So today, be prepared to face some adversities, but do not let those adversities cause you to lose focus on the mission. Stay strong no matter what happens to you. Do not lose sight on why you are doing what you are doing, and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great, and you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.
to order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.